Menu Reader Off Press space bar to toggle What's up boys and girls today we're playing Hogwarts Legacy so yeah this is the beginning of the game playing in 4k on ultras oh wow we can select a lot of people here who should we be look at this white boy with this hair uh, Well, I feel like since we always play as a dude, maybe we'll play as a chick for once. Like this somewhat Spanish Asian girl. No, she's kind of weird. Her eyes are like weird looking. Is this a girl or a boy? And this, I think it's a girl, right? Or is this a girl? If it's a boy, he's got some feminine face. Hmm. Alright, let's take this girl right here with the birthmark on her cheek. Since she's the only one who has it. Okay. Features. Maybe we'll change the hair. Oh wow. There's long there's so many different hairs. Oh what about dreads? <laughs> yeah, for 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 such an old uh for the old times we're gonna do braids. Yeah yeah, let's do it. Scars Ooh, oh, no, I don't think we're gonna, no. Oh, shit. Nah, 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 no scars, fuck that. Man, I mean, does it really fucking matter what eyebrows it's got? You can't change the color of the eyes? Oh no, you can, right? Wait. Hold on. Eye color. Wait, how do you do that? Hold on. Oh! Wow, look how gray eyes look. That looks good. Blue. There we go. Hazel green. Hell yeah. I was just talking about that the other day. What are these? The eyebrow shape? I mean, that doesn't really matter. I don't really give a fuck about that. Yeah, the green eyes look dope. Okay, voice. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help. <laughs> Imagine that playing a girl with this that voice. Was quite something. I'm trying to change into a boy. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Normal difficulty. 
Shit, what name should we pick? I guess I'm gonna have to use the keyboard on this one. Uh, name, name, name. Hmm. I don't even know what what name should I pick. I guess let's do Roxanne. Or Roxy. Last name, oh, Roxy Welsh. A witch or wizard? Well, I mean, we can't be a wizard. We're gonna have to be a witch, right? I think. Is this everything? Right? Start the journey? Let me just make sure really quick. Hold on. Really quick, there's just so much shit. Skin color. I kind of like the default skin that he had. Yeah. Yeah? Alright, alright. Let's do that. The hair is kind of weird, though. Ooh. That looks good. She looks good. There we go. Yeah, I think we're gonna go... Yeah, with this hair. On the second thought... This one looks cool, too. Yeah, let's do that hair. Oh, no! No! Ah, oh, okay. Alright. Right? Yeah, it sure looks pretty good. The fucking hair, though. I don't know. It looked a lot better. It looked better in, uh, in a close-up. Than it did on the. Oh, fuck. Nah, it's too short or something, I feel like. Where was the one I was looking at before? This one. Yeah? No, we're gonna go with braids. Yeah, cause we're just gonna go with that. Braids it is. Always go with your first pick, you know? Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. Nice. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. It is a pity. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time began. The hell? Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've Also, been I didn't castle. pick no I didn't Would pick no hat or a uh, wand stick. Rocks. I figured we'll just earn all of that. Forget it, you know? Whoa. What? 
where's the horse? Was there supposed to be a horse? Maybe not. I don't know. Or maybe it's just glitch? I'm confused. Warner Brothers. Dun, 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 dun. They pretty much ripped off Harry Potter in a way. Avalanche. Porky Games. Wizarding World. Okay. Oh yeah, maybe actually, it's not a glitch. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. She could use or bigger tits. I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical She's a bit skills flat, for four years chested. now. I wish you could pick that. If I could get our new student up to speed a bit before and the, the bigger term booty. Begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one she of the reasons came out cute, so far at the ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? Ooh. Is that I goblin? Have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues Ooh. at the ministry... A dragon. I believe he is a significant threat. And... It was your wife, Eleazar. How's the owl doesn't doesn't sense it? Miriam, how? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering hmm. what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Oh wow. Merlin's beard. Uh, how did you wait? We did Oh, it was a dragon. Holy shit. It took that guy right off. Oh, he's fucked. Yeah, he's fucked. Oh, that's our horses? Oh god damn! Whoa! Get the goblin key! Should have took the key out, man. The key. Use your magic, son. Nice. Yep. After this cutscene, when you started walking, for some reason the characters were both blue. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Apparently it's a known issue Take for this, this game. It's Wigan Well Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Okay. What happened? Oh, George, I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... 
Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Huh. That dragon was ooh, thirsty for I'm blood. Better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. Perhaps. But stay close. Very we well. No idea who created this port key. Or why? Yeah, right here. It, it like everything would turn black and white and the characters was just like all blue. So I don't know what the hell is that all about. What of you? The carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, no, probably like Ireland. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. Huh. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely. Hell so yeah. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. First time I ever picked a chick character besides Stone Raider. Form of ancient magic. Okay. Magic. Nice, I got a yes. wand, I got a, a hat. Magic wielded by a rare few. I got a few DLCs as well. Time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself Ooh. a stronghold of that ancient magic. Look at that drop. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, that's the path down below. This way. Ah, uh, okay. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to okay, understand that's... why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. Come on, old what hag. What really matters is the one who wields it. Oh, it's blocked. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Like amber. Focus on the center. Okay, how do I do that? Wait, what? Do I have to come closer? No. Wait, I've done. Uh, what? Tap R T. Oh, like that. Excellent. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, sliding. Oh. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Yeah, a little glitchy, right? <laughs> Sorry, we can break these things? Whoa. Okay. Wonder if there's anything in these freaking pods. Ah, up there. Where is he? That's crazy. Now. It's just ahead. I was gonna say, like, everything the Assassin's Creed, original Assassin's Creed that came out with that building climbing and all that, all of that stuff that's in modern games, like, they put the, you know, first stone into that wall. Now every game uses that. Oh, oh. Ah, 
nice. This guy is quite a wizard. Sick. Almost there. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we can shoot that far? Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. Dope. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's so have a look around for anything that seems out of place. There's nothing, uh... I would say this hangar is out of place. No? Oh no, it's not. It's not. It's a. It's a light keeper. Man, there's nothing in those pods, really. That's sad. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. The the worst part is that I thought the game was broken or something when they were blue. I could have played this much earlier and recorded much earlier. I just thought there was something wrong with the game and my PC setup. But apparently that blue glitch is on... Uh, many people experience that problem. So it was just an easy fix. Okay, so now what? What, I gotta climb? Is it showing me 40, 37? Question is, can I even climb this? Explore the rooms. So there's a door or something behind, isn't there? No, we can't climb in there. No way. It's gotta be something else. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Huh. Okay, what's behind me? Ooh, this thing is got some got some power to it. Nice. Is that, does it use your energy? I wonder. Or that no? enchanted crystallized stone Ooh. again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fink. Oh. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. Where's the old man? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. What? There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. Oh, use the key. in that room okay bro is this a goblin's place someone's someone's snoring away oh that's a guy sleeping okay while he sleeps let me just check this uh treasure chest anything oh 73 coins Can I pick up these coins? No. Uh, looks like nothing that I can take. Let's wake his ass up. Hello? Okay. 
tired much, mate. <clears throat> it's a goblin. Troll. It can't be. Oh, it's a goblin. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. He's a banker, huh? Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. Precisely. The key? Mm -hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Huh. Stay close. Whoa. After you. Cool device. Bro, look at that goblin. He's crazy looking, man. This is this this game has got a good start to it. I I, I think I'm gonna like it. Inside the cards? If you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> I was I was very skeptical at first, but I'm liking it so far. Whoa. Whoa. How many vaults are there in the green Hundreds. Oh my god. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number twelve. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The Whoa. Now are the newest. These are goblin dungeons to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Whoa! You want to take a breath? No wonder he said keep your hands on you. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? Whoa, that thing will chop it your hands right off when it's turning. Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Nice. I would have watched it riding all the way. Yeah, this is Goblin Dungeons. Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. What's this freaking oh, problem? Nasty no old gob. Why would he ask that if he already like we gave him the key? Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. Okay, let's see what's in there. the last time this vault was accessed a goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years in that time no one has visited vault 12 until today look how long his hands are they're practically dragging on the ground vault 12 thank you for your help this bastard's gonna lock us in there, no? He better not. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, 
I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> huh? Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. Should have asked them there first. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Wait, why? Okay. Closer and try again. Are you kidding me, old man? A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, Rebellion. then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Well, press X, right? Lumos. Huh, lighting? This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn In our Roman, way out of here. Do you mean earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Okay, Professor. Revelia. At least I know one spell. Where is he going? Where are we going? I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelia. Revelia. Right? I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The mm -hmm. reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Come on, follow me. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Okay. How do we go Lumos? Right, Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Nice, Professor. Whoa. 
Nice. Oh shit. Oh, it only works temporarily, okay. Statues up, big time. But there is a big one coming. I am, Professor. I'm right here. Shoot. Professor, Professor Fig, Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Oh my God. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. He disappeared. Another thing. Oh, that's where they're leading me. Let go of me. Oh no. Another statue. Revelia. I suppose I'm on my own this time. I suppose there's a treasure chest. There we go, all three. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Wow, not so fast, buddy. This bastard, dude. more Bingo. Except I don't see anything. Damn, where's the professor, man?
Is that him in there? Well, I mean... Lumos. Revelio. There's nothing, right? Oh, okay. We can't run away. Whoa. Nice. There's a treasure chest. We'll like those. I didn't like that noise. Rebellion. Okay. Lumos. Oh, uh, we can't break these. No. Okay. Hello. Are you there? Oh. Professor Fig. Yes. Godric, I'm glad you're all right. Pretend somehow back in the Invernalia. I don't see a way to open the door. There must be something. I'll keep looking over here. Okay, we gotta find the key. There was no key in that treasure chest. Really? No, just goblin silver. Lumos. Okay, so I guess there might be something with that middle thing right here. Something to do here. Yep. Uh, there you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. Uh -oh. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Oh, you drop a little bit in there and it shows or something? Follow my lead. to follow it will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as i can hmm. your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough Percival. we are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets with knowledge others will do anything to obtain yes and if we are correct charles the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. That was neat. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces. Of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed. Look at the glasses going never. through her ears. That's messed up. They didn't fix Miriam. that. And perhaps George. Look died at that. In pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant That's a for glitch. Centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. 
We were. It all looked rather different than it did a moment ago. Oh no, is that a leprechaun or a goblin? Who were they? I oh. don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. Little goblins. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Keep dreaming. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. What no. you talking about? We have the key. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Oh, you messed up. Since they have the key, that thing protects them. No way out. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Oh. Nice, we're in the woods. Whew. Sick. Are you all right? Thanks. Maybe step a couple feet back? I've never man. seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Huh. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Uh, yeah, you think it's a good idea? Wow, what a beautiful world. We've got trains, owls. I mean, I've seen the title in the beginning of the game. I don't know why they often do that now. They remind you what you play after you already saw the title.
Yeah, so we got to the castle or something. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. Or school? I'm no is that expert, what it is? but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study Where's the shirt as soon as I can, is, but first heels. I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. I want those boots Ready that Charlie Z time? got for uh, Kardashian. For Kim Kardashian. Oh, ceremony. Where's my hat? Uh oh. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Dickhead. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Oh boy. So many students. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. I got a wizard hat. Cool. Oh, it's alive. Kind of like Mario. Cappy. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences. And she looks badass. With that Certain hat. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you <laughs> learn in class is the challenges outside the classroom as well. It's patched mm. up in a couple spots. I wonder. Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of mm. She's what got a smirk it? on. She knows. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Nice. Choose a different house. What do you mean? So wait, okay. Uh huh. Okay. I guess we're gonna go with this one then. Which one would be the best? Creativity and wit, intelligence. This one is good too, though. Ambition. Ah. Uh, what should I? I kind of want to pick this. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. You belong in Ravenclaw!
What's the third thing? I didn't do nothing. It's crazy oh, how close to Harry Potter. Thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Hmm. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. A riddle? Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Okay. I guess that's the next morning. Rise and shine. Oh, looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Oh, look at that. There's a reflection in the mirror. How strange. Because there is no reflection in the mirror, mirror in Atomic Heart at all. Because people are vampires. I'm assuming. Wait, what? I gotta find my... What? Oh, you probably can't do that in school. Just have to wait Deeper. for the right moment. Strange, hold on. It's showing me... Oh, we just gotta talk to people. One moment. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? It's someone threw a dumb box. <coughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. What did you hope would happen? What a nerd. I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here, ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait. Did you say most professors are firm but fair? Ha! <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bong back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. 
so we're just gonna go walk around the room and uh, make some friends, I'm assuming. That's just brilliant, Ami. Brilliant. You think you could? Ah, that is why. Hello. Would you like to take a look? I got glasses. Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. It sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you! Did he just like say some slang that he farted? Or what? Fucking weird. I'm not sure this is the right spot. Give me an apple. That's right. I bet Black could tell a few tales about his days at home. Oh, we can make friends when with her. I want him to be in the perfect place. She looks like a place loser. I'm happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. Just like we are. To just moved to this town, golden so. Golden gobstones. <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home, and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wigganweld potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about Wigganweld potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You had better not keep her waiting. So now where do I go? Ah, oh, okay. We can go. I gotta say, he's got some good graphics. Oh, I gotta go down.
to the dungeon. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Nice. Here you are. Sick. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Now, how long is this, uh, stairs? Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? I guess so. Is this? Well, it says go down. Oh, we're going too far. What? How am I too far? Where's the lady? Okay. Oh, I gotta look at this bullshit. Pavelio. Nice. Open challenge. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle.
No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Yeah, where? No, I'm coming, I'm coming. I just want to take that treasure chest. Seventy, seventy-five coins. It's hard to be a student, you know. Got to pay timing. for meals. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. Select. A thing? That's what I'm supposed to do? Is that the class? Or what, what is it? Dinosaur bones. Wait. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I heard that Professor Bin died one night for sure. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Nice. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fix succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack my suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle <sighs> she's killing me so what should i tell should i lie i'm sorry professor but i'm afraid that's all there is to it hmm. yeah but i have to almost precisely what professor fig said oh okay perfect speak of the devil professor fig your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it yeah. seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. Yeah, and remember yeah, yeah. to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me 
as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay. What did you find out, Professor? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was hard uh -huh. to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. I don't understand. What, what is this? Track quest. Okay. Let's... The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For yep. now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Yes, sir. Oh, we can. I'm going to be late, ain't I? enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Uh. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. 
especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Right. Oh, this is easy. I wonder what Bunsen's got a map for this one. Now, let's try something a little larger. Begin with a basic cost. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Yeah, it says breakthrough and spell, but how? Oh. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Oh, okay, I guess they're pretty good. Start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cost, and Protego. You may begin. Okay. This should be easy. Protego, Complicates things. Levioso. Good form. I know. This course be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick man. Let me also. I do. You're my What are you doing up there? You're good. Now percentage. Thank you. Stupid class. Let me also. I need all of my students for this event. Smoke this ass. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I'm a fucking baddie. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, huh. Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again. Well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Thank you, oh, Professor. Right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. That's what you got to say to me? Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. it oh, so he took practice. the snake practice. that I was supposed to be. It felt more be. like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair Ooh. enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive 
unsanctioned dueling organization. Ooh. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps pleasure, somewhere pleasure, unsanctioned. Pleasure. We'll see if your performance nice. today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. We're already in the bad boy Until club. Alright, buddy. I saw a chest. Why is there a chest here? Right here, right? Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Oh, we gotta go to the second class. Okay. Wait, what is this? What? What is it, like a camera? Oh, nice. We got a GPS. It shows us where to go. Cool. This game is uh, very good, I gotta say, so far. Wow. Well, uh, yeah, thank you guys for checking out part one. Part two will be coming out shortly. Please subscribe, hit a like, and we'll catch you in part two.